Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you another live gameplay breakdown. Um, once again, I'm going to be using the Chicago Bears as my uh, team. I'm going to be using a combination of the Arizona, um, also uh, the um, uh, Eagles and the Green Bay Packers on offense. On defense, I'll be using primary 34. Um, you guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, also that notification icon. Um, I haven't played the game in about two weeks. Jump back online, and I noticed that the competition online is much better, much better than it has. Uh, people just kind of know how to play the game a lot better, and I'm just uh, I'm not making the right plays. Going against the Chargers, got to make sure that I, I pay attention to Bosa. Bosa is, is uh, basically a really good play player, so I'm gonna have to double team him with the blocking assignments and hope Ingram doesn't get off with the ball. Getting the ball right away, um, this is not a good sign for me. My offense has just been, I've, I've got so many formations I'm working right now uh, that I, it's going to be difficult for me to settle in uh, in, a, in, a, in a game because I am just using too many formations. So I'm going to have to try to settle down a little bit uh, with my formations um, and go with something that's going to be a little bit more effective. So let's come out of the, the halfback spread double, double. Let's see what this guy's doing. I need to be able to run the ball off to the left somehow. A lot of my runs go off to the rights, um, and they have, they're contingent on zone coverages, not man coverages. So it's not it's it's not a very good thing right here. So I got to change things up a little bit, keep things rolling. Waiting for my, uh, my my opponent. Hopefully this guy's some, he, he's not that great because I've got to get back into uh, playing the game a little bit better than I have been. Uh, because you take off two weeks, you can lose huge um, uh, timing uh, with the game, and also uh, a lot of the players are just better when they get more time on it. So, so I think he burned a timeout. I don't know what he's doing. Playing regs, one of the one of the fastest and easiest things to do is just to, to basically have your defense and offense already set up. So if he's making adjustments on it, he's, he's not he doesn't really know how this game plays. So just gonna take a look at this real quick. So this is taking forever. Um, right now I'm in Florida. I live in Florida, and uh, we have uh, the Hurricane Dorian that's that's been on the coast floating around. Uh, fortunately, it didn't come inland. Uh, we'll see if it actually hits up north. So that's not a very good situation for uh, everybody that's been concerned with it. But um, I, for anybody that lives up in the Carolinas, Georgia, and the other upper parts of the eastern uh, seaboard, I think it's going to hit the hurricane and you guys can take any kind of damage. So Dancer is taking a lot of time right here. He's going to cover three shell. We're going to go ahead and just Try to hit him underneath. And basically just uh, got a block shed right there, not prepared for it. So second uh, second to 15 type of situation. just sailed on me right there. Uh, that was a wide open guy. Uh, I just, the ball just sailed more than anything else. So nice possession catch by Robinson to bail me out of that type of position right here. He wanted a cover four drop. Let's go ahead and do the RPO counter here. Let's see if we can get this puppy off. He's showing me blitz. There you go. So I had to go ahead and, and and protect that he was going to be able to smash me he went into the free free uh free safety zone blitz i 
Good play by the defensive back right there. Right read. Uh, he went into single coverage, so that was the right read. There was nothing wrong with that read at all. So the RPO double uh, bubble worked really well for me right there. I think he actually came with some more pressure. Come out of mesh post. I'm going to come with pressure against me. There you go. Brought some pressure off the edge and able to go ahead and capitalize on that. He wanted the spinner blitz. down to the two yard line. There you go. So nice little jet sweep to be able to get the ball into the, the red zone with Patterson and go up by seven points. Uh, this is okay drive to start off with. Not feeling confident, uh, I'm confident right now. I just got off a series of bunch of uh, losses and um, just need to get my groove back. So um, hopefully we can go ahead and get um, some kind of a defensive stop against this guy. But if he's a runner, I've got some run defense for him. Uh, my pass defense has been subject so far. A bad game uh, day. Just just playing a lot of bad games. Uh, man, man, man and challenge just happened this Labor Day weekend. Uh, so I'm sure all the people that have been watching the, the Man and Challenge are excited to play more than anything else. So this is a, a little defense that we. Pressure came off the edge right there. RPO right there. Yeah, 
the pressure just came off the edge against him. He didn't. I don't think he blocked enough. So did he get delay a game? He did. And he's gonna punt. So good such scenario right there. He punts. Gonna go ahead and take this ball back. Going into the second quarter, up by seven, and getting the ball back uh, is a good situation to be in. So going into uh, a trips formation out of the single back, it's got some pretty good plays in it. Nice little run right there. Quick hiked him. A little bubble, a bubble play right there to go and get um, some yards. He went into man coverage. Bosa makes a good play right there against Bim. The third and two situation right here. came in right there. I got a lag going on right now. Hopefully we don't have any kind of a stop. Got a first down on that. Wow, what a lucky break. You went into a very, very heavy man blitz and I got away with one.
There we go. So he actually did not have good stick right there. He didn't make a right play, and we'll go to get a first down against him. I threw in his area, so if he was paying attention, if he had good stick, he'd be able to get me on that. So I think he burned another timeout, which is beyond me. Jet sweep is just so, it's so effective. It's just a really good run. down as much as possible. First down right here, so I'll take it. Let's start taking some timeouts now. I had to burn a timeout. Uh, I picked the play, but it wasn't allowing me to go up. spot right here. We'll probably be able to get a first guy to get a touchdown on this. There you go. So he didn't have any. He wasn't in the area. I able to go and hit him with another touchdown. We'll see how things work out. So up 14 uh, to nothing against the Chargers, against the answer, uh, 1,200. His defense is really not that good. Um, he does not have user. I've thrown at him a couple times and gotten away with some plays. Uh, we'll see if he breaks uh, basically some kind of a play. He, he punted the ball to me, uh, and that actually put him in a bad situation. So going to go with man, man deep. defensive backs and every back and everything so so kicking back off to him hopefully we don't give up some uh, cheap touchdowns against this guy um, if I can get one more stop I'll probably be an autopilot because this his defense uh, hasn't been playing um, stellar 
This guy's a big spinner. Good play. That's where I was going too. So this is a this is a very very tricky defensive work. There you go, so the pressure came off. If you would have thrown that ball. Oh, I almost caught that pass. I was right there too. Good play. Good play. He hit, he hit me with uh, that some kind of a screen, bubble screen over there. I didn't have any guys out there, um, and basically I got sucked into the run, and that worked for me. So I've got to basically go ahead and keep moving the ball against this guy. Uh, his offense, uh, he, he had a good drive right there, and he got me outside of my blitz because he's pushing everything to the outside. So he's obviously adjusted to a lot of the high-pressure de defenses out there uh, where guys uh, basically go ahead and hit him with blitzes, and he just gets rid of the ball fairly quick. So got one pressure against him, messed up his reads, but then he came back and bounced back. So let's just go ahead and go back to our offense, and hopefully we can go ahead and get a play against this guy and, and get another touchdown. He mixed up his defenses really well. All right, so I didn't like that. I didn't like that offensive set. I wanted to release one of my guys, and um, it just didn't work out for me. So that was a good play for him.
So first down right there, I think he went into another man blitz. So he stayed back in that cover two coverage right there, or actually the cover one. And that's how I'm able to go and hit that out route with that particular play. I didn't double up Bosa, and that's why I got myself in a little bind right there. Going to the fourth quarter uh, right now. Need to go ahead and get uh, a play against this guy. Got the ball up to the 33 yard line right there. Nice little fast reading, one with a cover th three blitz. The defensive back just stayed right there. We're going to go and try to kick a field 50, 50 yard field goal right situation right here. And that should be it. Should be enough yardage and definitely up by 10 points against this guy. So one stop is really haunting this guy right now. I can't give up a cheap touchdown against him. So we're going to make sure he dinks and dunks down the middle of the field. There you go. That's what I was looking for. Went into a man coverage, messed up his reads. It wasn't used to guys just carrying like that. So we're gonna go ahead and just try to go and pound this ball against this guy right here. It'll 
take it. Take this down to a two minute warning. <laughs> and he's going to have to start using his timeouts in this type of situation. Now he burns a timeout right here. And I gave up the ball right there. I tried. I was trying to spin. Oh, you got to be kidding me. No freaking way. Oh, my Lord. I took off the quarterback. I didn't give up the ball. This guy gets a huge break like this to keep him in the game. Um, if I get the if I get the ball back, I, I don't think he can, I can. I don't think he can time it out. So uh, I had a first down. That's amazing. Shouldn't go for it, man. Wow, amazing, 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 amazing situation. I had this game pretty much toast. Um, I, I think that I was trying to slide. So, stops me. If he stops me, he's going to burn a couple of plays, a couple timeouts. I'm going to give him about 15 seconds left. Take another timeout. I'm going to chew this clock up all the way. So you can see he's only got a few seconds left right here. We're going to run it off um, down 
and then just go ahead and get rid of the ball. So um, on, a, on a, a, just a bad opportunity, he actually gets a fumble recovery. I uh, played really good defense against this guy, but I did. my offense is just not crisp enough. Um, basically took a bunch of uh, L's before this gameplay, uh, and there just really weren't good games to show you. But this is a, this is a close game. The guy knew what he was doing, uh, but his defense was very sporadic at best. Uh, his user was, por was, was porous, and that was how I was able to get away with a lot of things against this guy. But I uh, jumped into different types of formations, uh, some formations that I, I have for some of my Patreon members and stuff like that. But I've, I've got too many formations I'm using right now. I need to isolate them down. So able to pick up a victory. Once again, guys, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. I'll be rolling out some more gameplay for you to take a look at. And until next time.